hello everyone and welcome back to another adobe illustrator tutorial so in this video i'll show you how you can create this lychee text effect in adobe illustrator so let's start the video first let's remove this text effect next let's type our word fruity the font size will be 400 point and the font I'm using for this text effect is capitally. Let's center this to the artboard. And let's change these words using else. Next, select this text and then click on this none to remove the fill color. And then we'll go to appearance panel. Here, click on and this and new fill icon and next let's change the color then click ok next click on this effect distort and transform and transform in move section we need 0 pixel for horizontal, 0 0.5 pixel for vertical, and we need 40 copies. Then click OK. Next, duplicate this layer. Now select our first layer and let's change the color. And click OK. Next, click on this arrow, then click on transform, and let's delete this transform effect. Select this first layer, then go to effect, path, and offset path, and apply a minus two pixel offset path, then click OK. Next, Keep selecting this layer, then go to effect, blur, and Gaussian blur, and apply a 3 pixel Gaussian blur, then click OK. Next, select this layer, duplicate this layer, next, select this layer, let's change the color. then click OK next click on this arrow then click on this transform and let's change the values first we need zero copies and let's change the vertical value to 20 pixel then click OK next keep selecting this layer then go to effect path and offset path and apply a 20 pixel offset path then click ok next we'll apply inner glow to this layer for that let's go to effect stylize and inner glow Let's select white color for inner glow. Then click OK. We need 70% opacity and 5 pixel blur. Then click OK. Next, duplicate this layer. Now select this layer. Click on this arrow then go to effect distort and transform and transform click on apply new effect and here we need 0 0.5 pixel vertical value and we need 30 copies then click ok next let's change the color of this layer
then click OK. Next, let's remove inner glow from this layer. Let's duplicate this layer. Now select this layer and let's change the color to black. Then click on this arrow. Then click on this transform. Let's remove this. Now click on this transform and let's change the value to 40 pixel then click ok next let's effect blur and gaussian blur and apply a 4 pixel gaussian blur then click ok next click on opacity of this layer and change the blend mode to multiply Change the opacity of this layer to 80%. Next, duplicate this layer. Click on this arrow. Let's remove this Gaussian blur. And let's change the opacity to 100% and change the blend mode to normal. And let's change the color of this layer. Then click OK. Next, click on offset path and change the offset path value to 40 pixel. Then click OK. Next, We'll apply inner glow to this layer. For that, let's go to effect, stylize, and inner glow. Let's change the opacity to 50%. And we need 10 pixel blur. And let's change the color. Then click OK and OK. Next, let's duplicate this layer. Now select this layer and let's change the color. Then click OK. Next, Click on this arrow, then go to effect, distort and transform, and transform. Click on apply new effect. Here we need 0 0.5 pixel vertical value, and we need 50 copies. Then click OK. Next. Let's remove inner glow from this layer. Let's duplicate this layer. Now let's change the color of this layer. Next click on this arrow. Click on this transform and remove this. Now click on this transform and let's change the value this vertical value to 70 pixel then click OK next select this back layer then go to effect blur and Gaussian blur and apply a 8 pixel Gaussian blur then click OK let's duplicate this drop shadow layer now select this last layer Click on arrow, click on transform and change the vertical value to 90 pixel. Then click OK. Now click on Gaussian blur and change the Gaussian blur value to 20 pixel and then click OK. Next, 
click and click on this opacity of this drop shadow layer and change the opacity to 60% and change the blend mode to multiply next select this layer then go to effect stylize and drop shadow here we need blend mode to multiply opacity to 70 percent x offset value x offset value to 0 pixel y offset value to 3 pixel and we need 3 pixel blur and then click ok next select this layer duplicate this layer and we'll apply a dot pattern to this layer if you don't know where you can find these polka dot patterns for that let's go to click on these three lines then go to open swash library then go to patterns basic graphics and basic graphic dots we have applied basic graphic dot pattern to this layer then click on this arrow then click on gaussian blur and let's remove the gaussian blur next click on opacity and let's change the blend mode of this layer to color dodge next let's duplicate this layer and let's apply a black and white gradient and first let's change the blend mode of this layer to normal let's go to gradient panel and let's change the color let's apply same color to this point now let's change the opacity of this point to zero and let's change the angle of this gradient to 90 90 degree then we'll go to appearance panel next let's duplicate this layer and move this layer to top now select this layer then click on this arrow then click on offset path and let's change the offset path value to minus 5 and then click OK next let's change the color of this layer then click ok next keep selecting this layer then go to effect artistic plastic warp and here we need highlight strength to 14 detail to 1 and smoothness to 15 and then we'll click ok next click on opacity of this layer and change the blend mode to overlay and that's it here is our final text effect look i hope you have learned something from this video please do like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching